What's up guys, I'm Crazyak. Welcome to Keep In Mind. Now this is a game that apparently covers some rather sensitive issues about life and alcoholism and that kind of gray area of life that no one really likes talking about because it is kind of an uncomfortable place. So, if you are sensitive to that kind of scenario or whatever, I suggest you be very cautious or watch another video or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and play this and we'll see where it leads. So, begin. Also, I hope it's not a point and click because you can't see my mouse right now. Jonas? Honey, are you awake? I know you aren't sleeping. Why won't you talk to me? Is it something I've done? Each night you drink until you can't speak. And the morning comes and you just... Forget everything. Including me. Every night we fight to keep a conversation going. Every night I fight to keep you conscious. If we just talked about it, we could be happy again. Well, we got right into that. I did not expect that to happen so quickly. I feel so far from you. Ugh. Huh? Where? Where am I? I think this is... This looks like my home, but... That's impossible. Oh, hello. I need to get out of here. Something has gone very wrong. Is it a point and click? Or do I move? How do I, oh, there we go. Arrow keys. All right. Let's see. How do I interact with stuff? What do I do? How do I do the thing? So let's see. I got a lot of alcohol bottles. A lot, a lot. Also, I am like three feet shorter than the bookcase. That's a normal thing. Also, my head is like tiny compared to those pillows. Anyway, I appear to be in a very large world. I appear to perhaps be a dwarf or tiny person of some kind. Well, well, well. I recognize that sound from SCP. Can it really be our Jonas? Come here. Let me get a good look at you. It has been such a long time. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, you're beckoning me, but... Oh, there we go. Well, well. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm glad you've come to visit us again. I know it must be hard to find the time in your busy, pathetic life. That blank look on your face. Don't tell me you've forgotten again. Oh, sad. You don't even recognize me. How does anyone forget? Well, dear Jonas, if you can't figure it out, you'll be doomed to wander here forever, making the same mistake over and over. You'll probably never escape, you know. You might as well not even try. But if you're so keen to leave, curious puppet, I'll give you a hint. Look around. Isn't this all just a bit familiar? I encourage you to give all the voices here a good listen. They're more familiar than you think. Alright. Am I going to find voices that represent my wife? Perhaps a child? Perhaps mother, father, other family? I'm expecting similar things. So I cannot seem to enter the houses. I think spaces interact, but I haven't confirmed that yet. Uh, hello, eyeball. You're an eyeball. I think. I haven't slept in three days. I've checked the back doors three times. There. Did you see that? I quickly close your eyes. He can't see you if you can't see him. Well, uh, all right, you seem a little messed up. Am I also that messed up? Hello. I rushed up my insides in place of all the things I never said. All I can taste is blood. All I ever taste is blood. That isn't so bad. Uh, I beg to differ. If I was just kind of choking up blood all the time, I think I'd get a little tired of that. There's a little, you know, that metallic crusty taste in your mouth. Oh, uh, it's, you know, it's great, but at the same time, not so much. Okay, danger. Gotta find a way around the danger. Fence. Oh, yeah, let's just go through the hole in the electric fence. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, I'm sure there, that wasn't there for a reason. It's kind of like Inception, you know. In Inception, uh, the mind, like, protected the secrets with, like, bank vaults and, and security and stuff. So I'm, I'm almost thinking this is kind of like a similar idea, that the thoughts that he's not supposed to go to, that he's trying to bury deep down, are the ones that have the most protection. I hate this job. <sighs> I want to go home. They said I could go home today. They said that yesterday. Buddy, I think whoever they are, they're probably lying to you. Uh, where's the other guy here? Yeah, I, I, I think I'm finally alone. They, they've stopped chasing me. They won't find me back here. No one will ever find me again. So why can't I still hear them? Because they're the kind of thing that you can't escape. When something's like deep laden inside your mind, 
It's like trying to escape yourself, like trying to escape your own shadow. It doesn't go away. Oh, hello. You look kind of like the first guy I saw, except a little smaller. Aren't you scared? <laughs> your life is meaningless, empty. You killed your brother, your mother, your marriage, and your mind. Now it's your turn. Aren't you scared? Wait, my turn to die or my turn to kill? Or I think I'm getting a little bit of mixed signals here. I'd rather not die. Oh, hello. Can I go up there? Oh, hi. I will guess I'll talk to you first. Are you just like looking up? You're gonna drown if it starts raining, buddy. You're gonna be like a turkey. Uh, nothing matters anymore. <clears throat> Apologies. Getting up is a chore. I have nothing to look forward to. She's already given up on me, and I gave up myself long ago. This one looks tall enough. Oh no, that means what I think it means, doesn't it? That's a terrible thing. No. But I'm pretty sure that guy is like the, so far seems to be the closest representation of my own character. The, the, the thing about his wife and everything, whereas everyone else so far seems to be talking to me, as opposed to just me talking about myself. Hello. Uh. All right. Come home, huh? I'm gonna go down this way, and I'm gonna let you be a weird entral entrail hanging popcorn wielding man. You, you, yeah, okay. Good job. You keep up the good work, buddy. You represent. Can I go to the right? I don't think I can go to the right. Find that check. Nope. Okay. So I've explored. I think pretty much everything. I think there's only one area left over here that I haven't looked in. Go back this way. Uh, did I go down here? Can I go down here? Have I covered everything? Yeah, I've covered everything. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Plague Doctor, kind of. Door's locked, door's locked, door's locked, door's locked. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to go. I didn't mean to leave. I, it was only for a second. Uh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. All right. Please don't tell me that I have ended up that way multiple times in front of my house begging to get back in. Though something tells me I probably have. Hello. Oh God. No, no, they'll see the blood. They'll know it was me. I can't hide. The trail follows me everywhere. His blood follows me everywhere. So it says, I think down below it says something out of 16. I think I just found what, 10 out of 16? So I think I have six more of these guys to find. Somewhere around here. But I gotta say, this is, I, I can't say whether it's like fully accurate of this kind of person's uh, thoughts or not because I don't know anyone in this kind of position. But I, I think it seems like a pretty reasonable representation of, of how you feel because it becomes a deadly cycle, right? You do something that hurts you and then you have to recover from that hurt So you do the thing that hurts you again because it temporarily makes you feel better and you get stuck in this endless cycle of, of Well awful things happening. So this seems like a pretty accurate representation of Loathing what you do loathing the situation you're in hating everything about it and yet you can't do anything because you're so crippled by absolutely everything about it that you just can't make log rational choices anymore. So, I think I've talked to everyone. I don't think there's anyone else for me to talk to. But up here, oh, I found a new guy. Hey, buddy. Can I, okay. I've counted the grass blades in this field. Every single one. There's a specific quantity for everything, and ideal. This tree, for example. This tree, this tree has 10 apples. 10 apples only. No more than 10 apples, absolutely no more than 10 apples. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Well, you got a little bit, you kind of degraded into a little bit kind of weirdness there. That's, that's okay. That's just, that's just you. But it seems like each part of this, except for that one, the guy, the turkey guy, the guy I was looking up. Uh, he seemed like a representation of my entire psyche, whereas everything else here seems to be a representation of a part of my psyche. Like, various things like obsession, loss, um, begging, and memories, like the, the thing being out, like, out, stuck outside and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna talk to this guy again, because I'm pretty sure I've talked to everyone. They are more familiar than you think. Well, um, I'm afraid I can't find any more. There's apparently five more, because that number has been steadily going up. So I found 11 of 16, I think. So where are the last five? Can I go down this road? No. I might have to jump ahead to a point when I actually find something because I can't seem to find anything. But I'll keep talking just in case I happen to think of something interesting to say. You never know when 
any one of these random things that I happen to talk about will actually mean something. It's kind of funny, actually. I, I go back to videos, like, when I when I do, like, did you change? Were you like that before? Well, didn't so bad. Okay, no, you were like that before. Okay. Um, when I do, like, end slate videos, I have to go back and, like, find clips of old videos to put in the end slates. So often I end up, like, watching old videos, and I'm like, did I actually say that? Well, why did I say that? That doesn't make any sense. Did I think that was funny? So it's... <laughs> It's just kind of, it feels weird that I've forgotten the things that I've said on this channel so readily. It's, it's a kind of a weird feeling. So basically, I've kind of determined that pretty much everything I say is just like this random construct of my mind that doesn't actually mean anything. Unless I get into something like really profound like Undertale and then everything I say actually means something. But anyway. Can I go to the left? Is this a pathway? This looks like just a fence, but it could be a pathway. Oh, okay, so it was a pathway. All right, fine. That was kind of me being dumb. I tried every direction except left. Because apparently left isn't important. Okay, I can't go up. I'm going to wait to cross the bridge because that's the obvious way to go. I don't trust it. I go down here. Oh, hi. I almost walked right into your mouth there, buddy. Disgusting. What an insignificant creature. Do you realize your own disgusting insignificance? Disgusting creatures deserve the mud. So keep squirming in the mud, little insect. I'm not an insect. I'm a very significant human being. Yeah, so this was just a pathway over here. All right, fine. That was just me being a stupid. Fine, I admit it. Oh, hello. You have very long arms and only one eye. I want to live inside you. Like a tapeworm. You could pull. I'd never leave you. Okay. That's good. Now that's good. Do you represent my inner angst and the fact that I hate what I've become? Oh, what the hell? Why are you splitting in half? We remember him. The guilt split us in two. It's your fault. No, it's your fault. You weren't paying attention. It was your job to watch him. Slip, thud, crack. Now he's gone. Because of you. Because of you. Because of me. Did I actually? I don't know whether this is this guy's own mind playing tricks on him. Which it could easily be, given the tone of this game. But it seems like he's actually responsible for a terrible thing. It sounds like he lost maybe a child or a brother, because... Earlier it said, you killed your mother, brother, and marriage. And I kind of thought that was metaphoric, because his marriage is still going. So I thought it was just like, oh, you killed it, like it's not worth anything anymore. But maybe he did actually kill his brother or something, and that's what he's feeling the guilt for. I'm trying to figure out what the guilt is about, because... Just drinking isn't something to be guilty about until it becomes something worse, which in this guy's case it has, but what worse thing has it become? Aha! <laughs> the worms! So warm in my belly! The only comfort I have left when I am empty. Problem? What problem? They need me more than I need them! Aha. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Yeah, if eating worms is yours, sure. Okay, why can't I get through there? That's kind of saddening. I'll walk all the way around the giant swing set then. All right. There's got to be a couple more here. No, I'm not talking to you again, Mr. I want to be inside of you like a tapeworm. Ugh, that's disgusting. Tapeworms are gross. That's why you don't bite your nails. Don't bite your nails because because of tapeworms. That's all I'm going to tell you. If you want to know more disgusting things about tapeworms, go look. you can probably just Google search tapeworm fingernails and you can find out. But I'm not going to talk about that anymore here. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've never been this tired. I'm so empty. I've never been this empty. Maybe this river can carry me far away. Can't tell if that guy's crying or what. See, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of low-res games that are made like this in very simple art styles because they want to convey a message more than they want to, uh, more than they want to impress you with graphics. But it's kind of interesting because sometimes you lose a little bit of detail which can be a good or bad thing. It can be a good thing because it can leave you open to other interpretations and you can fill the gaps with your own mind. But it can also be a bad thing because it's like, well, I don't really know what that is. You know, I'm picking up this long stick. Is this like a probe machine? Is it an antenna? Like, you can't really know because it's low res, right? But in, th in this case, it kind of leaves it open to interpretation. Can't work for anything. think. Okay, so I've talked to everyone. I can go back in now. Oh, the mirror. Oh, the mirror. Hello, music. Oh, uh, hi, guys. Ah, uh, okay. 
All 16 of them. Where's the last one? That's only 15, isn't it? That's only 15. Where's the last one? Is the last one me? Hey. Dots. Please. I am self-loathing. I am your years of hateful blame. I don't remember the voice they gave all of them, so I'm just going to do a standard voice. They've left me a re mangled wretch. You do not deserve to leave this place. I am hopelessness. I'm everything you gave up on. I am the lovers you left behind. I am the people you could have been. But now there's nothing left. There's nothing left but you. You must have hope. So this is interesting. They, they are all a part of my psyche. And that one that I just talked to was the guy that I said was mostly myself. So he was everything that I, that I missed and lost in life. I am addiction. I am everything you used to forget. <laughs> the alcohol, the drugs, even the porn. Everything you used to pretend to exist. <laughs> what have you brought me this time? Yeah, great. I am neuroticism. I am everything you tried to control. Everything that had to be. Perfect. All I see is chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. So many flames, too many flames. Only you can put out the flames, Jonas. You, 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 you. I am burden. Each day I work tirelessly. Pretending my worthless existence means something. I carry your world on my shoulders. I'm so tired. Don't make me carry it all, Jonas. So what's this guy? I am resignation. I am every time you've given up. Every sadness you couldn't bear. Every time you've almost ended everything. I am being swept away. This can't be the end. It's kind of interesting because they're all talking to me. They're telling me everything that's wrong, but they're also trying to tell me that I can make things right, which is kind of like a very interesting juxtaposition of their dialogue. I am regret. Please, let me back in. I never meant to go. Open the door, Jonas. I can't do that, buddy. I can't. I'm self-denial. I'm every feeling you blocked out, every joy you denied yourself. I'm more human than you will ever be. Possibly true. But since you're also part of me, possibly not. I am panic. Oh, God. No, no, no. I failed him. You failed me. And now we must pay. I am guilt. Well, I figured that one out. As am I. I watched the mistake you made over and over again. And then I watch your brother die before my eyes. Yeah, that was it. And I watch you do nothing. And I watch you do nothing. Over and over. Only you can decide to be whole again. So, what I'm trying to figure out is whether... Because the, the brother cr is crying like a baby. So, the only thing I can think is that he drank... Started drinking because of the incident with his brother, not the other way around. Hard to say. I, I am reclusion. Uh, I am everything you ran from. Every unpleasant thing shoved back inside. They can't climb my walls. Can't find what I've stored in this shell, but you can. I am paranoia. There, do you see them? Every fabricated lie. They all swim around my head ceaselessly. Why won't they leave me be? Wake them. Make them leave, Jonas. Wake them leave. I am suppression. I taste every feeling you've swallowed. I feel them clotting my throat, coating it like blood. I can feel them burning my belly. I think I'm dying. You are killing me, Jonas. I am decay. I'm waiting for you, Jonas. Why does decay want to be inside of me? I think I got this guy ready, didn't I? Please, yeah. Okay, so the last one is me. Because, yeah, the big guy isn't here. The big guy I talked to at the start is not here. So, the last one is me. So, we finally meet. Nice eyes, buddy. Uh, it's a good look for you. You finally mustered up the courage to crawl through your filthy mind and find me. You are pathetic. Don't you know what's going on here? Are you too stupid to figure it out? Call me stupid. Or perhaps you don't want to. You must like squirming in the dark like a maggot. To have spent so much time in this place. My place. Don't you realize? These are your thoughts, your memories. I realize that. I'm not a dumb. I figured that out. Your guilt and your obsessions. And they all hate you. They all hate you for what you've done. They keep you chained here to make you pay for the suffering they've endured. And that's not all, is it? Your brother is dead because of you, and you let him die because you weren't watching. Soon your marriage will suffer the same fate. You flounder in your guilt and anger and let yourself rot. Every chance at a life worth living, gone. You're afraid to be alone with your thoughts, so you try to drown them. What you don't realize, though, those voices that you tried so hard to block will scream more and more loudly. Scream until your ears bleed. So just keep covering your ears, Jonas, because one day soon, you might sink so deep you'll never hear anything again. No. Stop it. Just shut up. 
I don't want to hear it anymore. You don't rule me. I don't have to live like this. I don't have to live like you. I did that. Well, I didn't do that. He, 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 me did that. They're all gone. And what's interesting is he mentioned the voices that scream louder. Well, they scream louder, but they're also kind of my own voice. It's hard to drown out your own voice. Even if you plug your ears, you can still hear yourself talk. Hi. You're kind of the creepiest one so far there, buddy. Well, 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 can it be? It certainly has been some time. There is no need to be frightened, dear one. This place is safe and I'm not here to harm you. It's so good to see you again. How does it feel to be back amongst your thoughts? This place has changed so much in time. As you can see, dear Jonas, this place has gone to the dogs. <laughs> Do you remember how it was before the darkness? Do you remember how it used to be before your brother passed? You were so little. And you used to visit us all the time. We were your best friends. Don't you see, Jonas? We are you. We loved you once, and we still do. But some of us are terribly confused and frightened. That phantom in the mirror who calls himself you has been keeping you from the truth within his... Oh, crap. Without you, this darkness... This darkness suffocates us. It has warped us into something you can hardly recognize. Something monstrous. But we are still yours, dear Jonas. And we long for the light. That warm light that shone every day, back when you used to love us, back when you used to love you. What are you doing, Jonas? Why is it so dark? You know what you need to do. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for what you've done, and to forgive those that have hurt you. Only then can you live your life fully. Until then, we'll all remain here, crying for the warmth of the light. There's a door. Up. Up and out we go. Wife fell asleep again. A am I back home? It doesn't look as though anything has changed. The moon looks so beautiful tonight. Don't worry. I'll try harder and I won't give up. You will all see the light again. That was good. That was good. Okay, so, um, well, thanks for playing goodbye and good luck. So, this was actually a very interesting, oh, it closed. Well, fine, then I'll stop my recording because no point in wasting all the disk space on a black screen. <clears throat> okay, so I very much enjoyed this game. It was very a very interesting introspective look into uh, the mind of someone who has essentially given up on life. He has all these feelings stuck inside him from the good times, right? Um, and I don't know how young he was when he, uh, when he lost his brother, it was an accident, obviously. Um, but he could have been like six taking care of his little brother, or he could have been like 15 taking care of his little brother. And it's hard to say how much of his life he lived without these feelings on top of him. So you have to realize that these, this, like that guy at the end, the feeling at the end that was talking to him is trying to squelch feelings that this guy has been feeling for 20 years, 30 years. A very, very long time. And after a while, those negative thoughts become part of your identity and they don't go away. So I would say that not everyone in this position is as lucky as this guy to be able to reflect on that kind of thing and to overcome it. It's definitely not an overnight thing the way they kind of portrayed it here, but it's a game, so you can't really show the whole thing. Um, one thing this actually reminded me of, except for the couple of kind of, you know, introspective games I've played in the past, um, is Silent Hill. Silent Hill is kind of an introspective game but it doesn't really present itself that way initially. When you look at it, it doesn't look like that at all. It's a, it's a horror game. Um, but the, the whole idea, especially of Silent Hill 2, is that James is like... Oh, spoilers, by the way, for Silent Hill 2. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'll link in the description. Um, James has repre repressed a lot of feelings because of what he did in the past. He was responsible for the death of his wife. And he suppressed all these, and he ends up wandering in Silent Hill because Silent Hill has this phenomenon where people are drawn to it. They can't explain it, and they're just drawn there. Um, and he was summoned by his wife, Mary, who had long since been dead. And it was a very interesting, similar kind of idea, because the whole idea of Silent Hill is that you go there to get cured or you die trying. It's a very school of hard knocks. You have something wrong in your life, and you need to fix it. And James was very similar to this game in that uh, he had this guilt looming over him since he killed his wife 
and he, so much that he had denied it. He had forgotten that he had done it and he had denied it and put it in the back of his head. And it, you know, that can happen to a person. Th those emotions so strongly, you know, suppress our thoughts and our conscious mind. I guess it, it can happen. And I thought this game for how short it was, it was less than a half an hour, did a pretty good job of kind of covering that, covering all those feelings of insecurity and that kind of thing. And while I would usually say show don't tell, um, when you have such a short game and have an idea to get across, uh, you can definitely, you know, give a little bit of leeway to seeing a developer do a little more talking and, and less showing. Still, the game, like, it was narrative-based, but it still had, like, the cool ending scene where you had to talk to everyone. Um, so it was it was very well done. I very much enjoyed this game. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, the link is in the description down below. And I'll probably end up linking some of the other similar games that I've played in the past, either in the end's later description. So feel free to check them out. But other than that, that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Kind of reminds me of my own life, actually. I never had, like, a move ton of friends, even though, like, on Facebook, I was, like, 150 or something before I stopped using the thing. Like an anxiety attack or a panic attack, you're not going to know what to do. Unless you've experienced it before and had treatments with it and help with it, you're really not going to know what to do on your first time.